Hi friends, I'm Anna Hellman. Thanks so much for being here. When you send your handmade cards in the mail and they have embellishments on them, do you ever worry that they may not get there in one piece? Uh, those raised areas on your cards can cause problems when they go through the post office. So let's talk about a couple of quick solutions to make sure they get there in one piece. Not too long ago, I received a card in the mail from an amazing crafter and it arrived basically like this. Okay, see these holes in here? So inside, of course, what coordinates with these holes on the outside are embellishments. Now, if we make flat cards, mailing them is not a problem at all. But when we wanna put those pretty and lovely embellishments on them, it can make it a little bit more difficult to make sure they get there and get there in one piece. Now, I have three quick ways that you can help avoid these problems with those embellishments tearing holes in your cards when they go through at the post office. And I will share them here in just a second. Now, I wanted to show real quick because I pulled these cards out to use as my demos. Uh, aren't these butterfly cards beautiful? I created these with a set called Butterfly Brilliance. And if you'd like to see a tu several tutorials on these cards that I did, I will link to those in the video description below. You can take a look. So three ways to mail your cards with embellishments and not have to worry about those raised pieces. The first one, which is probably the best option, is to use some of this thin foam packing material. Uh, you, can, you may be able to find this in the packing material section at your local store, or you may need to order it online. Sometimes it comes in rolls and sometimes it comes in sheets, but it's just, if you look for thin foam packing material, you should find something similar to this. So what you can do is cut these into pieces about the size of a card or a little bit smaller than a card, lay that on top of your embellishments, slide it into your envelope, and this does a really nice job of protecting those cards. Looks like my butterfly is sticking off the edge, so that doesn't wanna go in there. Uh, but this thin foam packing material is probably your best option. Now, if you don't wanna to have to go to the store or order something extra for this, here is another option that you, I'm sure, already have in your craft area. And this is just using a plain piece of cardstock. So with this, all you do is lay that extra piece of cardstock on top, slide this into your envelope, and this will do a really good job of protecting your card as well. Now, a creative option that I, I, I've received several cards from crafters like this that I'm not sure I would have thought of this, but it's a really interesting idea. Uh, if you don't mind sending your card inside out. I'm going to flip one of these other ones so I don't bend my butterflies. If you don't mind sending your cards inside out, you can actually flip it inside out and it protects itself just like that. So that's another way you can protect those embellishments as well. Thanks so much for watching along. If you like tip videos for your card making and crafting, click on the name of my channel below, Anna Hellman with Scrapping, Stamping, and Stuff. I think I said that backwards, but that's okay. Click on my channel name. It's going to take you to my channel and there at the top, you're going to see my card making tips and tricks playlist. There are tons and tons you can watch and hopefully learn a few things. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.